Healing pipes are a woodwind reed instrument that were developed in around the 1700s. They were called Irish pipes or union pipes, but now today they're more commonly called illin pipes because you use your elbow to press the bellows and the Irish word for elbow is illin. They were developed from the pastoral pipes which had a slightly longer chanter. Our chanter is a little bit shorter which means that you can sit down and place the chanter on your knee on a leather pad. The leather pad seals the bottom of the chanter which means that you can play the second octave by putting a little bit more pressure on the reed. The Illin pipes usually have three or more drones, the tenor drone, the baritone drone and the bass drone. And the main function of the drones is to provide a continuous background sound to the main melody line. Another important development in the history of the Illin pipes were the addition of these long stopped pipes with keys. These are called the regulators. And these first appeared around the mid 1700s, beginning with one individual regulator and gradually more being added. The regulator's main function is to provide harmonic accompaniment to the tune. The sets vary in size, length and also in bore dimension. There are generally seven reeds in a full set of illum pipes and these can be made from natural materials such as cane. Shorten Reed, um, Sean Rudd, uh, 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 Tosh Diggin, Son, the Chanter, Agus, Shed the Throne, well, the Peabon Bug Prosh, Agus, nor uh, Hainan and Fair Threads, so it's probably she'd lend it. Then, Tosh, I bring she her and Maloch Kena is Goch and Goddena. The music that we play is, is very, very varied. There are tens of thousands of different individual pieces. A great deal of it is dance music, including reels, jigs, hornpipes, set dances, polkas, but also purely instrumental music and a huge number of song airs that would be the oldest stratum of the music. They go back in some cases to the 17th, 16th, possibly even the 15th century. Inland piping has been in decline at several stages during its history, uh, in particular in the late 19th century after the, uh, the famine and the, the ill effects of that event. In the very late 19th century, the Cork Pipers Club were the first to start a group to try and promote the instrument and they were followed closely by 
pipers in Dublin and the Dublin pipers and the Cork pipers took special care to involve tradition bearers to ensure the continuity of an unbroken tradition of villain piping. <laughs> Also present at that celebrated uh, Feshkul convention in 1901 was the famous traveller piper John Cash. He was an ancestor of the Doran brothers, Felix and Johnny, who carried piping into several parts of Ireland. And they were quite important in bringing piping as travelling musicians to parts of Ireland where there might not have been a local piper or where the tradition was largely absent. <laughs> Transmission of villain piping is chiefly by oral tradition, where players learn by ear. They normally start on a practice set with just a bag, a bellows and a chanter, normally around 10 years of age, but when their fingers are long enough to span the chanter. Over the last number of years we've seen interest from people of all ages and abilities in learning to play the pipes and to get access to a practice set and to learn from an experienced player. Another very important element in the transmission of villain piping is through families, where it's passed from one generation to the next. With the arrival of the 1960s, there was widespread concern about the future of the instrument and several groups were set up to try and arrest its decline. The Armagh Pipers Club in 1966 and the Peabody Illin in 1968. In the 1970s, Illin piping began to become an internationally known form of music, particularly through the wonderful music of players like Paddy Maloney, Liam O'Flynn, Paddy Keenan and Finbar Fury. They and the bands they played with brought the music on concert tours to every corner of the world. Mm -hmm. 